In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five options spiral design infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the title comes here uh, with the oval shape. And when I click next, it will show the first option with the icon option number. And you can add the title and the detailed text here. And then with a different color, it will come with the second option, third option, fourth option and fifth option. And if you like, I have created one more slide where I've just given some shadow effect as well as two more slide where I've given some narrow designs like this. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to select the oval shape. Click here so that you get the oval shape and height and width make as four points. You can see here and then align center, align middle. And I'm going to give some transparent effect here for that. Right mouse click, go to format shape and under fill you can see the transparency just increase some transparency and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d you can see here this is duplicated now i'm going to cut this one you can see here i'm just going to put it this much so the one area which is on the top that only that i'm going to retain and the rest of that i'm going to remove it so let me just change this color so you understand so the blue one which is visible on the top only that area i'm going to keep it and then rest of that i'm deleting for that what i'm going to do right mouse select first this particular uh, shape the blue oval shape and then hold the shift key select the red one and in the format go to merge shape you can simply in subtract it you can see here you end up getting a shape something like this and again i'm going to cut something from this side also for that go to insert shape select the rectangle draw the rectangle again i'm going to make this transparent so exactly we know how much area i'm going to cut it so i'm just going to keep something like this you can see here make sure that this area also has to cover otherwise it will not cut properly so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to select this shape, hold the shift key, select the rectangle, merge shape, and I'm going to subtract it. So we end up getting this shape. Shape outline, make it no outline, and I'm going to duplicate this, press Ctrl D, you can see here. And I'm going to add one more oval shape here. You can see here one more oval shape, hold the shift key. Let me just make the transparency effect also and you can see here i'm going to again cut only this part whatever is visible i'm going to retain only that one the one which is highlighted you can see here so for that make sure that it is properly aligned from the bottom let me just yes so i think this is okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this one again go to format merge shape I'm going to select intersect here, intersect, okay, and remove the transparency effect. And here also I'm going to remove the transparency effect and I'm going to give some dark color here. You can see here some dark color and I'm going to give more darker color for this. Let me just select this one more colors and I can just increase the darkness. You can see and click OK and just put it here so it gives you kind of a 3d effect so again select both this shape and press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one shape here you can see here something like this now i'm going to select this and press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here again hold the alt key and use the right arrow key you can see here something like this and then it will burn and let me just put this one again let me just alt like this you can see here this is i can add some options like this all right and then again press ctrl d again alt and the right arrow key so like this you can just keep on adding the options depending on your requirement whether you need five six so based on that one you can just do it you can see here let me just add 
something here. Again, control D. And just arrange properly so that uh, there should be a less gap between this. You can see here. Let me just arrange it something like this. So you can see here you end up getting a shape something like this. So I'm going to add one circle in the center. Go to insert shapes draw a oval shape hold the shift key so that you get a perfect circle here you can see here and you can go to a shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any dark color or gray color here and then align center align middle and based on this one you can just add again you can see here you can just arrange this one either if you feel that okay if you want you can use this also to arrange this arrow key also so let me just put something like this and this one it will further rotate so you can see here you end up getting a shape something like this if you want to add more also then you have to give a less spacing and add further now once this is done it's time to change the color so again any good color you can select you can select this color first and go to more colors and whichever color which you feel better you can just give a combination of a light and dark color so this is light color and this one i'm going to make it some darker color so you can see here you got a 3d look like this so again select this one go to more colors maybe i can use a kind of a light pink and here I'm going to use some dark pink. So like this, you can just change the color depending on your requirement. So let me just select maybe a blue, a lighter blue or with a darker blue. So it's up to you which color you like to choose it. You can choose it. Let me just select some darker color like this. And then whichever color you feel better, you can add it for this also. So you can see here I've changed the color for all the options and if you want to rearrange or you want to get it more closer uh, you can just do that also. Uh, let me just add the, the icons and the options. If you're using the latest version of PowerPoint then you go to insert, click on icons and you can uh, get the latest icons here. So I'm just randomly selecting five icons. Okay, so I'm just selecting five icons here. Click on insert and I'm going to make the height as 0.4 only the height and width you can see the smaller one i'm just going to put it on top of each option and if you'd like to change the color you can change the color to white or if you like black only you can just keep it black also let me just make it white and then go to insert text i'm going to add the option a b c d or one two three four again depending on your requirement I'm just going to change the font to century century gothic make it bold I can write a line increase the size let me just write a line and I'm just going to put it here a control D to duplicate so this one will come B this will be C here I'm going to make it left align all right so this one would be b this is c d and e and then you can add some detailed text here along with the title Uh, again right align same font I'm going to choose or any other font of your choice you can select reduce the font size and I'm going to give some gray color here and just add next to the text you can see here so this would be here control D this would be left align and it comes here and this would be right aligned so it comes something like this 
and if you want to change some background also you can just change the background and here in the middle you can add the title let me just remove the guides and you can insert and then you can add the title here make it bold put it in the center all right so this is how you can design this one or if you want to add more options also then you have to give less spacing and add further options also maybe six or seven also you can add it here so you can see here i've made another slide where it is more closer also whichever way you feel better you can just uh, add the options and if you want to change the background also you can just simply come and click the gradient fill and because i've used the last time that's the reason it's showing so you can see here i've just select the type radial and direction from center you can see here this is from center and then i've added three stop one stop is a white color and then also it's white and then i've used some light gray color if you want some dark gray color also it looks something like this so whichever way you feel better you can just uh, add the, the background as well as you can uh, do a small animation to this